Yeah, I think using the Minnesota Importance Questionnaire is a great tool for somebody that's having some difficulties uh, at their job and wants to assess to see if there's something else that they may want to do. Um, it's a good choice. It assesses how an individual feels about their current job. So the assessment will ask them various questions um, to ask them what they like about their job, what they don't like about their job. As um, And it also is nice because it, it's been around a long time. It was created in 1967. So it's been ref it's been refined over time um, to meet, stay with the times, but it has plenty of years to show its validity. There is a long form that consists of 100 questions and that make up makes up 20 subscales that will measure satisfaction with things like ability, achievement, compensation, um, policies, things like that, things that are in regards to their current job. And there's also a sh short version that uses a five-point Likert scale with about 20 different items. Uh, that type of scale, as you know, is widely used, and it's the type of scale that that you know has been around it's been stable um it's used in many different assessments so the validity of that type of um likert scale is is pretty pretty good pretty solid uh, each item will mention a particular reinforcer in their work environment. It'll ask them to respond of how satisfied they are so it'll the, the scale will be very dissatisfied dissatisfied neither satisfied or dissatisfied, satisfied or very satisfied. So that's kind of how they all will read. Um, and the questionnaire, really another reason why it's a really good choice is it can be used for a lot of people as long as they can read it at fifth grade level because it is a paper and pencil test. So um, I think for anybody that's has some questions about their current employment and want to sort of assess where they're at and where they may want to be, I think the MIQ is a great choice.